Moms, you know there are a lot of things that make that job challenging. One of those can start soon after your child enters the world. We're talking about breastfeeding. While the CDC recommends that infants are breastfed exclusively for six months, only 58% of babies actually are. This morning we are hearing from an expert. We have Kristen Pedrick joining us now. She's a registered nurse with Brookwood Baptist Medical Center's Women's Center. Kristen, thanks so much for coming in. Thanks for having me. We talked about that statistic, 58% of six months Olds, six month olds are exclusively breastfed. Um, why, why do you think that number is in 100%? You know, this day and age when moms have to go back to work so soon, um, there are moms that we do find that have to go back at four weeks, which is not wow. at a good recovery time at all. Mm -hmm. um, so going back to work is definitely um, one of the biggest factors. Mm -hmm. um, but I do think, you know, breastfeeding is very difficult. Um, it doesn't come without difficulty. It can be very discouraging as well. So, um, and a lot of moms don't have a great family support as well. And it does take a lot of support to breastfeed, mm -hmm. for sure. I think a lot of moms going into this, maybe they're expecting and they say, of course I'm gonna breastfeed. Mm -hmm. It's natural, it's, it's the recommended option um, from a nutrition standpoint, from a health mm -hmm. standpoint, uh, for mom and baby in most cases. Um, and it's natural, you know? It should be easy, right? That's what they say. It's not all yeah. the time, is it? I no. mean, there are certainly challenges that, that you can have with that. What are some of the challenges that, that you see women dealing with every day? Yeah, and a lot of the, one of the biggest things that I see is supply issue, mm. or, you know, it could be very painful. That's one of the biggest things, as people say, it's, it's very painful, and mm -hmm. that breastfeeding should be perfectly comfortable. It's not always gonna be comfortable, but it should be, you know, comfortable enough to continue breastfeeding, you know, mm -hmm. damage and things like that. Um, but, you know, that's really the the biggest thing that we see mm -hmm. is, you know, latching issues and not having enough milk or um, really not that support. Mm -hmm. But there are some, th some of those issues, there are ways to, to work around that or to find a better mm -hmm. solution. You will have a support group that meets, yes. that's able to work with new moms. I actually went to it and I loved it. Mm -hmm. It was so nice to have people who know what they're doing mm -hmm. <laughs> right there with you. You feed your baby at the class. Yeah. And so you can kind of correct maybe some of those latch issues, positioning mm -hmm. issues. Um, what are some other things that maybe moms can do that, that you know, sometimes they feel alone when they're trying to do this and they're struggling but what yeah. are some things that they can do well support group is my it was one of the most important things you can do um, I was always super shy with it and that that wasn't always an option for me and I wish it would have been because mm. that is what I love doing here at support group um, seeing different moms in different stages of their breastfeeding journey um, you know really seeking support and coming to support group and seeing those feeds and that kind of encouraging you, oh, my baby is doing what it's supposed to do. You know, we have moms come in and think the complete opposite. They're, they're not feeding their baby well, or we hear starving their baby a mm. lot, and they'll come in in tears, and just seeing them leave, you know, that we have done something for them, and at least they can get through the next day, or even, you know, seven days till they come to see us the next time, and mm -hmm. that's kind of the most rewarding part, too and seeing them leave like they have really had some type of success and even a little bit of success is huge in the breastfeeding journey. Mm -hmm. And encouragement along the way that, that maybe even if you are having some of those challenges, A, they're mm -hmm. really common, so you're not the only one. And also it doesn't mean that you're a bad mom. Not at all. If you're experiencing some of yeah, those. This is, it is completely normal and I wish I would have known all those things with all of my children is it is not easy. Mm. It is probably one of the most difficult things, not only physically, but just emotionally and um, the things you give up to do that. So it can be very difficult. So you do need that encouragement from seeing other moms that have been there for four to six months and have gone through the same things that you're going through. And that helps to encourage them to, oh, I can do this. I can get there. That can be me. And then six months later, that will be you. And then another new mom will come behind you and you will be the one that pushes her there. Mm -hmm. So that's that's why support groups are amazing. And, and how can we find out information about when those are meeting? So um, you can definitely find out on the Brookwood website as well. But we do meet on Mondays in Alabaster. Um, at Westwood Baptist Church, um, and that's from 9 to 1. Mm. And then on Thursdays at Vestavia Hills United Methodist Church, and that's from 10 to 3. Perfect. And that meets every week. 
Um, and if they do have questions, they can call us up at the Lactation Center at Brookwood as well. That's great to know. And before we go, Kristen, I'd love to ask, so we talked specifically to moms and new moms. Um, what would you want other family members to know? Husbands, partners, um, mothers, fathers, mothers and fathers, in-law, anybody who's going to be around and, and supporting this new mom? Yeah, and like we said, encouragement is probably the thing that gets moms past the brink of not wanting to do this anymore. You know, if it wasn't, and husbands and support persons are one of the biggest things to get that mom through. I know I wouldn't have been able to do it without my husband. Um, he was, he pushed me through those two in the morning feeds when I just can't get through. I can't, I need some sleep and I need rest. And having those friends and family be able to support you um, it makes a huge difference in that journey. And it is a mom and a baby and that's the main focus but they can't get there without those friends and family to, to encourage and support and just in a day-to-day -day basis making sure that they have what they need and that they know that oh just one more day you got this. Mm -hmm. That information is on your screen to find out some more information about those support groups and those resources. Kristen thanks so much for Thank coming in. Thank you so in. much for having me. Of course. All right now here's a special deal for you. Take a look.